we go. Good morning, social media people. Whether you're Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, or on my website, bepatleader.com. I just want to do a little video um, <clears throat> on really helping you assess where you are with, with your dog and uh, with what you're doing is the right thing. Um, you know, the way you're training or the way you're communicating, are you on the right track? And one way I suggest that, there's, there's many ways I'm sure, but one way I find it's really helpful is get getting your dog going out into nature. Here we have nature. And um, actually just being silent with your dog and just being together and just relaxing, not getting pulled in by the whims of social media and, uh, you know, this person's belief system and this person's belief system and this trainer's belief system it can be very confusing for, not only for, right now it's very confusing for a lot of trainers, um, you know, of what way is the right way. Uh, let alone members of the public who are trying to train their dogs. So it, it, sometimes it can be the blind leading the blind, and you know, that's never a good situation. So, you know, for me, when I've had members of the public, clients, or trainers, many over the last few weeks contact me saying, you know, it's, I'm confused, I thought this was right, I'm being told it's wrong. Uh, I thought this was wrong, I'm being told it was right. Um, there's, there's many ways to do, to achieve your goal, I'm sure. Uh, and so there might be more than one right, there might be more than one wrong, but <clears throat> as one wise man has said, there is a lot of times in scenarios, good, better, best. So there are, are good things you can do, there are better things you can do, and there's the best thing that you can do. And really it's up to you to find which is your good, better, best. Um, really what you're trying to do, just the very fact that you say you're watching this video, is you're, you're looking out for the welfare of your dog, you, you want what's best for your dog and, and for society. So sometimes it isn't a choice between right and wrong, sometimes it's a choice between a good choice, a better choice, and the best choice. Um, and you know, when you do, for example, a session with me, I will give you my advice on what I think is good, better, best. <clears throat> but ultimately as well, you've got to choose for yourself what is good, better, best for you. So a good, better, best that I would advise right now um, is get with your dog out into nature, relax. Now ideally you can be in nature and be doing um, this. Let's see, can I flip my camera around? Uh, let's see, here we go. Get out into nature and be with your dog or dogs and just be at one. Now ideally you want this, you want that you can have them off leash, that you can have dogs that are uh, um, attached to you psychologically, not just physically. We are, we are a society where our dogs are at the moment, <coughs> through wrong choices, uh, attached to us physically but detached psychologically. And the goal is, for me, is to switch that round one, one person at a time, that we can have dogs that can be detached when safe um, and attached uh, psychologically. And the in the pudding here. Mr. Waddle here. It's where you then can just, you know, stop. And your dog stops with you. You can give a one simple... <whistles> your dog is acknowledging you. Lilo is a bit different because she's about 80% deaf. So um, that whistle there, you see, she didn't even hear that whistle. So actually, for safety, Lilo has a remote collar, you know. And um, so anyway, that's another that's another topic of discussion. But get out into nature and <clears throat> just feel, just relax. You might watch this and go, "What are you talking about?" Well, just get out into nature and just relax turn off social media or don't worry about what other people are saying it's uh, generally a fake world it can be there's so many positives to social media hence one being right now having a conversation with you and um, but get out into nature and 
don't worry so much about what other people are thinking. You know, you members of the public, you're really just trying to do what is right for your dog. And, uh, you know, I, I genuinely believe that because you wouldn't pay lots of money and, and, and time and effort in, in watching videos like this and, and watching other trainers and reading online. And, but that's where it can be very confusing. So sometimes just getting out into nature, just relaxing, going to walk with your dog, um, you, you and the dogs, and just relax and don't let, kind of, in a way, the fake world concern you. Now that could be as a member of the public look, uh, who's looking to train their dog, or it could also be if you're a trainer. In particular, if you're a trainer, I'd be saying you need to do that. If you're confused by every whim of doctrine out there, then uh, you know, you've got to just go back to you and go what works for you and continue in that. And, and don't be posting videos and um, uh, putting up posts really to, to see, oh, what does, uh, what does another trainer think about this? Put up videos so your clients can see results. So your clients can see, <coughs> and potential clients, how you're getting on. Um, and, and your and your results that you have. That's what's important. If you're putting up videos just to say, well, I wonder what X, Y, and Z trainer thinks of this, then you're going down a slippery slope, I'm afraid, and it's not good, better, best. So, yes, it's good to be, um, you know, to ask other trainers, you know, what do you think of this, or what do you think of that, because I value your opinion. Wonderful, but when you're then swayed by every whim of doctrine, it's not good. It's not good for you as a trainer either. Um, and in your own personal life. So get into nature and just enjoy. Be like the dogs, man. Just chill and they don't care about what's been said about them on social media, whether you're a staffy or a Frenchy, Stitchy. I mean, they don't care. They just get on with it. You've got to do the same. All right? Good.